Coming up, we'll take a closer look at the war in Ukraine and how it's affecting the rest of the world. We'll also get an update on the catastrophic weather that ripped through the Northwest Arkansas area last Tuesday. I'm Kennedy Webb. And I'm Emma Gardner. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Friday, April 8th, and we've got a great show planned. Now, let's start with some national news. The war in Ukraine has been going on for over a month now. So far, there has been an estimated total of 1,500 deaths and 2,000 injured from the start of the war. This includes women, children, and the elderly. On Monday, President Biden called the atrocities by Russia's President Vladimir Putin in Ukraine a war crime. Biden says he is looking into more sanctions on Russia. In local news, on March 30th, Northwest Arkansas experienced severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Excessive damage was recorded in Springdale, Arkansas, which included downed power lines and destruction of properties like George Elementary. It has been reported that the gym and playground equipment of George Elementary have been destroyed, along with other parts of the school being mildly damaged. The school was closed that Wednesday to all students and staff and reopened on March 31st. In school news, February marked Black History Month and FHS hosted a Black History Month celebration that included historically black sororities and fraternities, a barbecue cookout, and information booths. FHS reporter Arden Bramlett covered this event. Black Excellence was an event that occurred on March 4th. It was used to celebrate Black History Month. The celebration included step shows, live speakers, and informational poster boards. Doing a celebration for Black History Month and it's basically having fun and gathering together as a family and learning about black culture. It will help people understand why certain cultures do certain things and why they say certain stuff, and plus you get to learn something new. Even though it had its up and downs, being a minority, I would say it was still worth it to come here. And uh, with this celebration, it even made like my senior year um, experience better. That's the first time this has ever happened since I've been here, so it just makes me happy that it's happened. I'm Arden Bramlett reporting for the Bulldog Weekly. Since the beginning of COVID, Fayetteville Public Schools has offered free weekly meals to families in the Northwest Arkansas community. The FPS Child Nutrition Meal Distribution Program is a part of a sustainable model for providing food and assistance to families. The program provides free meals for anyone 18 and under. We spoke with Fayetteville High's Food Services Manager, Ginger Garner, about this important program. It's um, to feed the kids that are at the attend virtual school as well as um, community children, like children under the age that aren't going to school yet? Well, they, they started by feeding them like the summer program and we were just feeding them out the back door. They were stopping and picking up a meal. And then um, our director decided that it would be easier to just give them the food for the whole week in one bag so they could take it home and not have to come up every day. And it started there and never stopped. And it just it helps all the kids in the community because they, they learn better if they're not hungry. All students and staff on FHS campus have free access to the New York Times through September 28, 2022. Using your school Google email to set up your account and activate your own free pass at nytimes.com backslash passes, users can also download the app. Please visit the library for more information or problems activating your account. Fayetteville High School is offering free ACT test preparation for all students through their Naviance account. To learn more on how to access it, check out the Naviance ACT Test Prep Quick Guide. The FHS Theater Department is preparing for its upcoming spring production. Students, teachers, and volunteers have been working hard to prepare for this prestigious celebration. We spoke to organizer Mr. Thomas about this event. The spring play will open April 21st. I think there's going to be an invited audience on uh, April 20th. It's called the Miss Firecracker Contest. 
by Beth Henley. It's a really well-written play, and it deals with uh, topics that we think high school students would be interested in about being yourself. Don't let somebody else live your life. Don't try to live your life to somebody else's specifications of what they expect of you. Um, and it, it just has a good message, and it's kind of a it's a, it's a comedy, but it's kind of a kind of a dark comedy. I mean, it's got some funny moments in it, but they're they're also like, should I be laughing at this? This is kind of sad too. <laughs> Pi Day celebrates the mathematical constant pi. It is celebrated in countries that follow the month-day format because the digits in the date, March 14th or 314, are the first three digits of pi. FHS celebrated in its own unique way. So today is Pi Day, it's March 14th, and on March 14th every year, Mu Alpha Theta gets to sell pi to all the students. Um, it's a super great way to raise money for our organization. Uh, members get to bring in pies and get hours for working towards their goal to get a quarter graduation. And Milf Theta gets to make all the profits, so it's a dollar a slice and it goes on all day. We get to make a ton of money that goes towards our nationals trip in the summer. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, FHSTV-Vayva High, for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Emma Gardner. And I'm Kennedy Webb. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.